Alright, now that that's done, we can begin working on setting the driven keys. What I want this to do is, like I said, I want the NURB circle to go up and down and influence the actual keys of the motion path. So I want the curve to influence everything that is done in this input, in my case motion path 9, and the U value because it it's the reason why it goes along the path. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window. Actually, no. No, it's in Animate. Sorry. I'm going to go to Animate, and I'm going to go to Set Driven Key, and then Set. And it pulls up this Set Driven Key window. See, that's why I got kind of confused, because it's a window. Um, so I'm going to select the nerves, and I'm going to have these two options in here. There's Load Driver and Load Driven. The driver is going to be the main primary influencer. In this case, the circle. Because if I move it up, it's going to influence the driven, which is uh, my panels here. So I'm going to click the load driver here, and I'll have this. Now for this portion, I want I have to animate each um, individual panel because they're all different. You know, there's eight of them here, so I'm going to have to do eight key set driven key frames. <clears throat> but the problem with this is is that if I just click load driven, I'm going to get this panel 16. So what I need is the motion path. So I have to click the panel and then click the motion path. And then click load driven. And you'll see I'll have two options here. Panel 16 and motion path 9. So I'll click my motion path 9 and then I'm going to click my U value. Now over here with my NURB circle 1, over here is my visibility and translate Y. So I'm just going to click the translate Y. So what I want you to know is that when I'm doing this is I'm setting the minimum value for my set key meaning it, this set driven key will not go downward it's kinda like setting a limit but um, basically a key framing it so it can be animated it will never go pa past this point um, as, as much as I want to and what this is known as doing is setting the neutral position so I'm going to uh, hit key and I'll get this random error as usual but then I'll move my circle upward and I'm gonna select the panel here and go to motion path 9 and select the UV the U value here and I'm going to make it 1 so now it's over here All right? now over here back in my set driven key window I have my nerve circle 1 and my translate Y and then my motion path 9 and my UV, U values selected. So all those are selected. Now I'm going to click key again and this will be the easiest one to do. And if it, as you'll note when I move this up and down it follows along the path. Okay. Now as you can see it's going a different direction and I need to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the panel I'm going to go to the attribute editor. Let me just close the set driven window temporarily and I'm going to go to the motion path 9 because that's the name of the the tab and the attribute that we saw in the channel box and you'll see these uh, these different values here now this is the world up type now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to vector because it's going to point to a different direction kind of like I was talking about earlier in the first video uh, in the second video so uh, this is going to influence the direction. In this case, it's uh, pointing in, because this one's X, this one's Y, and this one's Z. So it's trying to point in the Y direction or something, rotate along the Y, which I don't want it to do. So I'm going to make that zero, and you'll notice this changes. And first, I, I just kind of have to do some tests. So with at zero, what's going to happen? Well, it looks like it does, it rotates some way, but I don't know. So I'll go back to motion path and I'm going to start trying these numbers. And I'm going to select this one here in the Z. And I'm going to move this up and down. And it looks like it's going the right way, but it's reversed. So that tells me that number was right. It's just it needs to be a negative number. So I make it a negative one. And now I look at it. Yep, it's going along the right direction. So I basically need to do that for each. Uh, each panel, but um, a lot of times I like to just kind of get them to 
to actually set the driven keys first and then go into the attribute editor. I'm going to pull up this uh, set driven key window again. This time I'm going to select uh, this panel here. I'm going to set this back down to zero because I need, like I said, I need to set the neutral position for both of the objects. And I'm going to select the panel here. I'm going to go to my channel box, go to my motion path. All right, see there's that 0.34, so everything's all set. Now I need to load the driver. The, the drivers are already loaded, so I need to load the driven. So this is going to change. I have panel 15 and motion path 10. I'm going to select the motion path 10. Click the U value because that's the one. That's the attribute that I saw right here. All right, so now it's going to influence that, and I'm going to hit key. All right, so now you see that there's a keyframe. Now I'm going to move this one up, and I need to set the max position. So I'm going to select my panel, go to Motion Path 10, and select the U value. Then I'm going to move it until it gets over here. Now this is why this the first one was easiest, because I didn't have to do this. But now I have to come in here, and I have to go, okay, I need to move it to the point in which it actually lines up. So it's going to be 0.949 that intersecting it's a little bit so I'll make that 4.9 no, 4.85 there all right it moved so now that I gotta make sure you know they're both selected nerves that's the driver motion path got it hit key all right now I move this up and down and you'll notice it follows along the path but as you can see as it gets to right there it turns so either I can just keep doing the motion paths and they're all going to turn, or I can fix it now, which I'm just going to do just for sake of showing you twice. Uh, so I'll select the panel, go to motion path 10, world, look at the world up type, change that to vector. It's going to be the same number as the first one, so I'm just going to uh, make that 0 and make this uh, z negative 1 and it's going to follow along the path and you'll notice they'll never intersect because um, I set them when I set those keys that I set the max and the minimum so they'll never intersect one another and basically I'm just going to keep doing that over and over again until I get all eight of these and I'm not going to go through them all just to show you but overall what I should get is something like this as you can see though that there's no curve and that's just because I selected the curve and I just controlled H and it's gone so that's, uh, that's basically all I did there and after that you can kinda enjoy your nice little garage door rig and hopefully this will be of use to you um, later on in your animations so I hope you learned a lot and uh, if you have any questions or any comments feel free to send me a message or comment in the box below Alright, happy animating.